Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. Today we learn study 8 signs. Unit 21 crop production and management lessons. Le book back answer full away. Namai nikki paakla. Okay wow. First one choose the best answer. First question. The process of placed seeds in the soil is called as answer B sowing. Second one. Organism that control insects and pests of plant crop is answer A biopesticides. Third one. The method in which water flows over the soil surface and allow it to infiltrate is answer B surface irrigation. Fourth one. Effective microorganism preparation is not used in answer A seed treatment. Fifth one. Which of the following is not present in Panchakavya? Answer D sugar. Second Roman fill in the blanks. First one. The process of actively growing seedlings from one place and planting the main field for further growth is called answer transplantation. Second one. Dash is a plant growing in a place where it is not wanted. Answer weed. Third one. The chemicals used for killing the weeds or inhibiting their growth are called as answer herbicides. Fourth one. Dash seeds transfer their unique characteristics to the designs answer heirloom. Fifth one, does center serve as the ultimate link between ICO and farmers? Answer, Krishi Vinyan Kendra. Sixth one, several popular high yielding varieties of major crops have been developed by Answer, IARI, Indian Agricultural Research Institute. Next, third Roman match the following. Question could the Kangma, the Sarian answer on the number right pronoun. In a question, Paklama. Biopesticides, namely is biopredators, bacillus thuringiensis, biofertilizers, control white flies, bioindicators, improve soil fertility, bioreplants, quality of environment and kudur kangma. Is on the mathi mathi changes larger than a mina prono correct answer, there in the choose pony, right pronoun. Paklama, the answer. First one, biopesticides. Which answer correct? Bacillus thuringiensis. Second one, biopredators, control white flies. Third one, biofertilizers, improve soil fertility. Fourth one, bioindicators, quality of environment. Fifth one, bio repellents, neem leaves. Next, fourth Roman answer briefly. Paakna. First one, defend blowing. Answer blowing or tilling is the process of lo loosening and turning the soil up and down to facilitate the availability of nutrients in the root zone of the cultivating crop. Second question, name the methods of sowing. Answer the different methods of sowing are first one, sowing by hand, second one, seed drill, third one, dibbling. Third question, what is foliar spray? Answer, foliar feeding is a technique of feeding plants by applying liquid fertilizer directly to their leaves. Plants are able to absorb essential elements through the stomato in their leaves. Fourth question, give a brief account on Krishi Vinyan Kendra. Answer, Krishi Vinyan Kendra is a farm science center. These centers serve as the ultimate link between ICA or Indian Council of Agriculture Research and Farmers. Their aim is to apply agriculture research findings in practical localized settings. The first KVK was established in 1974 at Pondicherry. Since then KVKs have been established in all states and the number continues to grow. Fifth question. What is bioindicator? How does it help human beings? Answer. A bioindicator or biological indicator is any species or group of species whose function or states reveals the qualitative status of the environment. Biological indicators are used to document and understand changes. The earth living systems especially changes caused by the activities of an expanding human population. Sixth one. What do you mean by weeding? Answer that the undisturbed plants growing naturally with crop plants are called weeds. The removal of weeds is called weeding. Next seventh one, what is crop ro rotation? Answer, crop rotation is planting a series of different crops in the same field following a defined order. Eighth question, what is green manure? Answer, some plants like sunham bunker are grown in the field prior to the sowing of the crop seeds. These plants gradually decompose and turn into green manure which helps in ensuring the soil in nitrogen and phosphorus. Application of green manure always enhances the growth and yield of the crops. Fifth Roman answer in detail. First one, explain the agriculture practices. This is the long answer. Easy to learn. First one, the points in the agriculture practice. First, we will learn the mind. Eight types. Eight types. First, we will learn the eight types. First, we will learn the eight types. Various agriculture practice. First one, soil preparation. Sowing of seeds. 
adding manure and fertilizers, irrigation, weeding, harvesting of crops, threshing and winnowing, storage of food grains in the topic la memory la vajjukunu. Next easy nama write panel la over nayu. First one, soil preparation. The soil preparation methods are given below. Soil preparation methods in Paklama. First, blowing. Blowing or tilling is the process of loosening and turning the soil up and down to facilitate the availability of nutrition in the root zone of the cultivating ground. The blowing the following are the few important agriculture implements generally used in the field preparation. Enough blow hoy cultivator. Okay, wow. second path of dinner leveling. Leveling is done with leveler and helps in uniform distribution of water for irrigation. Next, see basal manuring. Increase soil fertility by manuring. Next, second one is sowing of seeds. Further, three, three types of sowing by hand. The scattering of seeds by hand. Second one, seed drill. Sowing seeds by iron drills attached to a tractor. Dibbling, play, placed seed in furrow or pits or hole by hand. Next, third one, adding manure and fertilizers. The substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients to enhance the growth of plants are called manure and fertilizers. The organic source. Plant and animal waste. Synthetic source in the urea superphosphate. Next fourth one irrigation. The supply of water to crops at regular intervals is called irrigation. The traditional method irrigation done manually. Modern method involve two systems. Sprinkler system, drip system. Okay. Fifth one weeding. In an agriculture field many other undisturbed plants may grow naturally along with the main crop. These undesirable plants are called weeds. The removal of weeds is called weeding. Next is sixth one, harvesting of crops. The process of cutting and gathering a crop is called harvesting. Manual harvesting. Harvesting without tools. Example, groundnut crop, green crop, black crop, house crop, horse crop. The H O R S E ma horse horse crop. Okay, wow. Mechanical. Method harvesting by instruments small sized farms, example sickle, machine harvesting used for large size farms. Next, seventh one, threshing and winnowing. Process of separating the grains from their cows or pods. Eighth one, storage of the last step, ma, storage of food grains. Supply of the produce has to be stored properly before storing harvested grains should be made free from moisture. Any moisture in the stored grains will lead to the growth of microorganisms. So the need to be dried in the sun before storing. Food grains are collected in kanni bags and then stored in goodons. Okay, when the money step by step, we will write it. Okay, next second question. Give a detailed account on irrigation. Irrigation pati paklam. This is a long answer. Thama, easy a paklam, answer. The supply of water to crops at regular intervals is called irrigation. The various sources of irrigation as wells, tube wells, ponds, lakes, rivers, dams, and canal. Effective irrigation is the controlled and uniform supply of water to crops in the required amount at the right time with the minimum expenditure. Irrigation can be carried out by two different methods: traditional method. Modern methods. First one, traditional methods. In these methods, irrigation is done manually. Here, a farmer pulls out water from wells or canals by himself or using cattle and carries to farming fields. Pumps are also commonly used for lifting water from various sources. Diesel, biogas, electricity and solar energy are the few important sources of energy needed to run these pumps. Next, modern methods. The modern irrigation methods help to overcome the problems exist in the traditional methods. It also facilitates the even distribution of moisture in the field. The modern methods involve two systems. Another, their sprinkler system, drip system. First sprinkler system. A yes, sprinkler system sprinkles water over the crop and helps in on even distribution of water. This method is much advisable in areas facing water scarcity. Here a pump which generates pressure is Connected to pipes and water is sprinkled through the fine nozzles of pipes. Next, drip system. In drip system, water is released drop by drop exactly at the root zone using a hose or pipe. The method is considered as the effective one in regions where the availability of water is less. 
next third question what is weed explain the different methods of weed control answer weed weed the undisturbed plants may grow naturally along with the main crop and these undisturbed plants are called weeds the removal of weeds is called weeding farmers adopt many ways to remove weeds and to control their growth the different methods of weed control first mechanical methods mechanical methods this is the most common method in which weeds are destroyed physically hand pulling or weeding with the help of weeding how is the boldest and most efficient method for controlling weeds next tillage methods it is one of the practical methods of destroying weeds of all categories weeds are buried in the soil and they are also exposed to sun heat by deep blowing next crop rotation in this method proper rotation of crops is followed for controlling crop associated and parasitic weeds next is summer tillage deep blowing after harvest of rabi crop and exposing underground pots of weeds to strong sunlight during summer months is useful for destroying many annual and perennial weeds next biological weed control in this method bio agents like insects and pathogens are used to control weeds the objectives of biological controls are not eradication but reduction and regulation of the weed population chemical methods next chemical methods are very effective in certain cases and give have great scope in weed control the chemicals used for killing the weeds or inhibiting their growth are called herbicides these chemicals are mixed with water and sprayed over the crops next integrated weed management integrated weed management combines different agronomic practices and herbicides used to manage weeds so that the reliance on any one weed control technique is reduced mechanical biological cultural and chemical methods are included in integrated weed management okay students in the video ungalku useful ah irundhuchu nama channel subscribe pannunga like pannunga share pannunga thank you to all